So, it finally happened. A lot of you guys were saying that Polarium was looking to sell, and that might be a reason why Polarium just doesn't care. MTG acquires Polarium, developer of Raid Shadow Legends, to strengthen their mobile gaming position. This just happened in Stockholm, November 11th at 23.34, which was not too long ago. Modern Times Group made an agreement with Aristocrat Leisure, who owns Polarium. They are buying 100% of Polarium Global Limited. And uh, let's see the highlights here. Purchase price of $620 million dollars of which 20 million is going to be deferred to 2026 consideration for the offset by cash flow gonna, that's going to be generated between quarter four of 2024 until closing which is expected to be the first quarter of 2025 and performance based earnout 30 million dollars based on revenues for 2025 mtg is going to book on the balance sheet all right what does this mean for us as gamers i don't know it could be a good thing could be a bad thing. I'm curious. We're going to sit here and wonder. I'm not sure when this acquisition is going to be. Uh, maybe we should just keep reading. Let's see. Uh, performance based earnout. Oh, we read that. Second potential stretch earnout target of up to $170 million based on Polarium 2028 revenues, which will not be booked on the balance sheet. Polarium synergizes strongly with MTG, and the deal results in one of the strongest mid core mobile gaming portfolios in the industry to power future organic growth. Polarium generated 600... Oh, fucking hell. What the fuck? $613 million. That's like more than $1. $110 million in free cash flow. Wow. I wonder how much of this came from Wales. There's a lot of things here that I don't understand. We need somebody like Kizzle or um, Pop Drock to go over this. MTG will benefit from Polarium's tech and deep expertise in live ops marketing live ops and monetization to drive commercial synergies and further improve the group's performance over the long term the transaction will be financed with cash on hand that's crazy how much money companies have along cash finance with cash on hand what is it what is it 620 million dollars Along with fully secured and committed financing totaling $460 million, MTG expects to be able to benefit from Polarium's experience, which will strengthen its already well-developed marketing capabilities and enable it to accelerate organic growth through Polarium's strong live ops. MTG also expects to be able to contribute key technologies and expertise expertise, why did I say it like that? Expertise to Polarium in areas like browser play, the optimization of casual games, and expansion of games to additional third-party platforms like what, Xbox? MTG intends to hold a capital markets day in the first half of 2025 to present the impact of this acquisition on its strategy and future ambitions. The group also expects to provide new long-term financial goals. Hmm. MTG will confirm details of the events after closing the transaction. To me, this seems like Raid's not dying anytime soon. I, that, that, that's, that's straight up what it seems like. If another company is buying this company, this entire game, I feel like they just see potential in it and they want to profit off of that. And Polarium, probably just sick and tired of it and wanting to go on to the next thing, was just like, eh, we're done with this game anyway, so I wonder what Polarium's gonna do next. MTG's group president and CEO, Maria Redden, Re Redden, sorry. I wonder how content creators are gonna be affected with this. One of the things that makes MTG unique is our ability to evolve. Acquisition of Polarium enables us, uh, enables us to significantly accelerate our ambition to build a strong ecosystem that can support gaming companies setting the stage for future growth. All of this will be supported and enabled by strong and consistent cash flows. Our ambition has always been to build for the long term. So yeah, they're probably thinking to build way into the future. I'm just curious to see if it's going to be good or bad. I'm hopeful that it's going to be good, but we'll see. We're delighted to welcome Polarium into our gaming village where they're world leading. Wait a minute. Just because MTG's buying Polarium, does that mean Polarium like loses autonomy? If Aristocrat, because I, I don't think that's how it works, right? I think, like, did, did Aristocrat oversee everything Polarium did, or did they leave Polarium to their own devices? Like, was Aristocrat basically saying, like, all we want is X amount of money by this quarter. Do whatever the fuck you need to do to get that done. Or were they like, hey, is, um, you know, when's the next summoning event? You, you know what I mean? Like, or when's the next fusion? I think MTG might be closer to something like that, where they basically tell Polarium, 
hey, make us money. This is how much we expect, and this is when. So we don't know if Polarium's gonna, you know, assuming the same people who are in Polarium do the same thing that they're doing now, you know, you, you, know, you just don't know. You don't know. To put it simply, we're huge fans, and we can't wait to continue building our future together. Yeah, if there's any experts out there who can read this and explain it to us like we're five-year-olds, um, just, you know, don't be a dick about it. Uh, could you explain this article? I'm going to link it down below. All right. Polarium was found in 2009 in Israel, acquired in 2017 by Aristocrat. Studio has approximately 1,300 employees headquartered in Israel, with teams in Poland, Ukraine, Finland, and the rest of the world. Led by CEO Shraga Moore, together with senior manager, um, management team of 12 members. I wonder how much money these guys make. They prob they're probably making millions. We're over here yelling about Hydra and they're sitting in their, I don't know, their Bugattis. Polarium has built up a global footprint for its games and has a resilient business built on popular evergreen IPs. The studio has also developed and successfully deployed two key performance acceleration tools that fit well with MTG's own systems and strategy. Polarium Play, which is the browser uh, launcher that we use on PC, and Go Game. I don't know what Go Game is. Proprietary, cutting edge UA and marketing platform that is fully integrated into Polarium's IT infrastructure. MTG's, I keep wanting to say MTG Jedi. So I, I checked it out. I looked at their portfolio, Modern Times Group, and I wanted to see what kind of games they have. This, oh, they're the guys that do balloons TD. I love Team Defense. So let's see, uh, they have Rise of Cult. Do you guys know any of these games? Inno Games, they, um, see their portfolio. I don't know any of those games. Hutch, I know the name Forza. I mean, I know these names, NASCAR, but I don't, I haven't played those games. Ninja Kiwi, all right, I played these games. The monkey shooting balloons games, but I don't know what this one is. So th those games are pretty fun. Word Cross, dude, everybody plays Word Cross. I play with the kids at work in the clinic. And, uh, Tacticus? Is this Warhammer? Hmm. Snowprint. Yeah. So, I mean, that looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to go about doing this. And again, I'm going to link all this down below. You guys can read more into it. And then if you any, any if any of you guys are well-versed in this kind of stuff, then feel free to share it down in the comments. Again, I'm not an expert. Just, um, you know, feel free to, to weigh in whatever your thoughts are. Awesome. I no longer have to read that Polarium is owned by a literal gambling company. I wouldn't get too excited expecting any changes. They bought a profitable company and will expect it to continue to be so. Management is all likely going to stay the same and everything is just going to continue as it always has. That's a very... yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a sad outlook, but yeah, I can see that. Polarium netted 166 million in profits. My professional accountant's opinion on MTG's definition likely means there are incomes generated from sources outside of the primary business activities, including interests from bank accounts, possible ad revenues on other games. These aren't typically lumped into revenue, but are reported as other incomes outside of operating activity. Is that for taxes? <laughs> Probably means that people hand over more money to virtual slot machines and other virtual casino stuff that doesn't require any creativity or innovation at all. Hopefully MTG reorients and takes a more player-focused approach. I'll be honest, it's a big company. I mean, we can hope. Let's, you know, we, we, let's, we gotta be positive, right? LOL, Lamau even. You don't buy something like Raid Shadow Legends for over half a billion dollars and not milk it for all it's worth. Living in the past, always think about tomorrow. Fucking up a lot, man, it's always my fault. And everybody...